Once our preparations are complete, we ought meet with Chamberlain Aldous. Yes, well, enough idle chatter. To business, then. Thank you. Aye, the inn offers a clean bed. But it deals in vocations and skills, besides. Remember to save enough for lodging. Iron and steel. The master works all. The master works all. You can't go wrong. Come again. Have you equipment to announce? We can take on curatives and other supplies for our journey here. It seems this is where the merchants live. It is quite open. do have much to worry on. How did the day find you? The catacombs are cleansed of rats, thanks to your efforts, Arisen. The roads, too, are all but free from the skeleton warriors. Grancis is safe for the moment. Documents they left behind shed some light on Salvation's actions as of late. It seems the skeletons were an attempt to bolster their numbers, a thought I do not relish. What's more, it was their own members' bones they put to use. Newly joined believers made living sacrifices. They were turned from flesh to living bone by some dark art, all as a part of some experiment. The writings claim that bone warriors wrought from living men are stronger than those come from corpses. Even for a cult of madmen to visit such atrocities upon their own, it is a horror, and one now hopefully at an end. Again, you have my thanks, Arisen. Pray accept this small token for your efforts. Arisen, sir? Beg pardon, sir. I bear a message from Milady Eleanor. She would speak with you, sir, in private, if you please. Some would uh, raise an eyebrow at such a request, given Milady's vows to the Duke. I, I trust. Uh, forgive me, Arisen. I must learn to hold my tongue around proper company. Pray, find me tonight in the Castle Gardens. Salesman. You've made quite the impression. You'll be. 
Take all the time you like. Take all the time you like. Do come again. Serve as the hub of our Here journey. we can rest. Manage. I hear no one. Have your pick. What will it be today? What will it be today? Have your pick. What will it be today? Understood. Once our preparations are complete, we ought to meet the Chamberlain Aldous. There was aught we were to do this eve. Have you aught to sell? <laughs> the stairs ahead lead atop the castle walls. I shall await your safe return, Master. Praise the Maker, you've come, Arisen. Oh, this is glorious. Most glorious. Pardon me, sir. Forgive the ramblings of a handmaiden on a strange errand. It's only... My lady's request to see you is a rare thing, you see. First, in all my years with her, in truth, I trust you understand the delicacy of the situation. Milady is a married woman, I need not remind you. And well, yes, even innocent conversation could be bent foul were it discovered by others. Pray, walk softly, Arisen, and have a care to let none find you visiting Milady's chambers. could prove my love is pure. Off to a night's fire, and after a long day's ruling, fire? No, you must hide. There is a fool to fulfill the dragon. <sighs> Quickly. You storm the lady's bedchambers with the urgency of a man in battle. I shan't eavesdrop on the ducal proceedings. I remain to stand watch at the guard, Sire. For your protection, of course. <laughs>
Sylvie. Your Grace, Edmund, I... This isn't... This wicked fool mistook a trifling kindness that I once paid for something more. He stole into my room. I was terrified. This commoner must be made to learn, sire. Give him a taste of the lash and a stay in the dungeon. Festy! Festy, I know you're there! The lady is mistaken. I would never violate his grace's privacy while he violates the lady's privacy. Oh, Rook, none of your japes, fool! Summon the guards! Have this villain removed! Duchess, sneaking off to her chambers for a cup of tea. Must be a fine tea. What to come all this way in the dead of night? Or perhaps you seek refreshment of a different sort, like a turn in the sheets with His Grace's own wife. Damn! You're tougher than you seem. Perhaps there's aught to this arisen business after all.
do you think you're doing? Such flagrant rudeness. Don't let him get away! Do as you're told in a bit of qu of no love. If it is work you want, you are to see me for your assignments and no one else. I speak for his grace on such matters. My word is his. As such, any task deserves your full and immediate attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. You've a stake in this and a right to hear, sir. You know of Forneville, I. He is among the wealthiest of Grand Soren's merchants, though now he stands to lose all. He is accused of a litany of crimes. I would beg a favor if you've the time. It seems Forneval was as busy in his underground dealings as in his honest work. His bill of crimes includes bribery, fraud, abduction, the selling of secrets, even collusion with salvation. The inquest continues as we speak. Should the present tide prevail, he will likely be found guilty Put to death. Opinions are split, however, on the credibility of the present proofs and testimonies. A few days yet remain before the matter is decided. I ask that you go and gather what facts you can. Any proof is welcome, be it evidence or testimony, aught that clearly shows his guilt or innocence. Justice must be done, and for that, we've need of the truth. I hear old Forneval is the subject of an inquest. His conviction would bring me no joy, not least for the loss of revenue I would suffer. Arisen, I have a proposition, sir. I've long had dealings with Forneval and want to believe in his innocence. Pray, take a petition for his acquittal from me, that it may help sway his arbiters. <laughs> you are to see me for your... I speak for... Pray, make your choice, sir. In that case, inform it the weight of duty. You are to see I speak prey. Make no doubt you're aware the roads are ever more overrun with beasts of every stripe. The threat has only worsened since the dragon's coming. Trade has suffered, citizens have died. A company of the land's finest sword hands have been gathered to thin the creature's numbers. It is no perfect solution, but it is a start. I would ask you to join them, sir. There's been no end of reports of caravans bearing tribute bound for Grand Soren being waylaid by monsters. Among them, the direst threat is posed by the Griffin. It is not a creature easily quelled, but we can ignore it no longer. Hence the company of elites. 
And now it seems they are prepared to face the beast. They stand in wait outside the castle gate. Go and speak with them for further detail. I fear this may be a long battle, sir. May the Maker be your shield. Fornival's inquest will not wait for us long. Fornival has a a young woman. Hello. Tell me, sir, what is to become of my father? You're the Arisen, are you not? Can you not do what to help him? I could not bear to lose him. Even if the things they say were true, I still... He was ever a kind father to me. A petition? Of course, I would gladly draft one. I would draft a hundred if it be a help. With time of plenty. Mustering fools just marched in, eh? Hold me prisoner like some common criminal. Just madness and base insult. You there, you're an insult. There's time yet before my trial is decided. Pray, arrange for my acquittal however you may. If you see me through this storm, I'll sell to you at cost for the rest of my days. It is a generous offer, eh? Now go, and pray put an end to this farce. I'm eager to be quit of this confinement. Please, sir. Forneval stands trial? Tis a pity. In truth, the man was profligate. His ostentation earned him envy and enmity in equal parts. But he was not the sort of man to seek profit in the misfortunes of others. I will add my name to the petition. I shall pray that his innocence is proven. I blinded them!
Duke could stand to commission some new roads. <sighs> Don't worry. I am here. Well sturdy, this place. This looks interesting. An inquest, eh? Cheers. I welcome the diversion. I know it is improper to say so, but you'll not deny the thrill of awaiting a judgment. Though it's the rare trial that's not decided before it begins, if truth be told. Proofs are easily falsified. Testimony still more so. There's always someone with cause to want one outcome or the other, and the means to ensure it. Which brings me to a very special deal for you, friend. Writs of affidavit for sale at bargain rates. I've statements of their guilt or innocence. Quite the clever fortune is these. They always sell well when there's an inquest on. And why not? Tis a heady thing to buy a man's guilt or innocence. If you've mistaken the trial's result, you'd be a fool not to. I'll disavow we ever spoke if asked. The choice is yours to make. My prices ebb and flow with the tides of the trial. Still, tis a small price, but you'll not regret it. Make good use of it. Back it. Far be it. You'll pay my price, though. Tis only right. You'll not regret it. Make good use of it. We are a vagabond people, born in a drifting world. We come from... Hello. Can I help you? Then I bid you... If you find combat a struggle, it may be good to adjust your party. The training grounds are used to instruct the men of the Corps in combat. It's a rift stone. Touch a rift stone and you can guide a new pawn to this world. If you would trade with choose as you will. Choose as you will, sir. I am ever at... Yes, Arisen. You cannot take on any more followers without releasing one of your current companions. I am honored to travel. May our paths. Yes, Arisen. You cannot take on any more followers without releasing one of your current companions. I am honored to travel with you. May our paths... Yes, Arisen. 
You cannot take on any more followers without releasing one of your current companions. I am honored to travel. May our paths cross. Back in fuck, you'll pay my price though. Fizzle. You'll not make good. We are a vagabond people, born in a drifting world. It from anywhere with the use of a magic item. You are to see me for your ice pray. Make your choice. I would ask you to seek out evidence, material evidence. The ink. Good. You've brought evidence. Here. There's time yet. You are to ice pray. Make your I would ask the ink. Good. You've here. There's time. You are to see ice pray. Make your I would ask you material the ink. Good. You here. There's time. You are to see me. I speak. Pray. Make. I would ask you. But the inkling. Good. You here. There's. You are to see. I speak. Pray. Make. I would. But the inkling. Good. You here. There's. You are to see me. I speak. Pray. Make your. I would. But the ink. Good. Here. There's. You are to see me, I pray. I would ask you, material, the ink. Good. You here. There's time yet, sir. You are to I speak pray. Make I would ask material the ink. Good. You've brought evidence. Here. I shall see it submitted. There's time yet, sir. Pray. Continue in your efforts. Seems like Fornable may be found in Well met, sir.
You can summon pawns as necessity demands here at the pawn guild. Have you equipment to I hear. Have your pick. Any you what will it be today? Have your pick. What will it be today? Understood. Are your travel preparations complete? Yes, well, enough idle chatter. To business then. Advantage she can. Don't you agree? Thank you. A girl must take what advantage she can. Don't you? Thank you. A girl must take what advantage she can. Don't you agree? Thank you. They do make a lot of expressions. The Duke's men are assembled. Let's hurry to join them. Grand Soren, the beating heart of all Grandsons. I had a feeling you might be our escort. Aye, we are the company of elites you're to march with. A poor jest, I know. We'll circle the capital, striking the griffin as we come upon it along the way. We attack when it sets down. It is nothing so clever as to be called a stratagem, but it will work. If you still care to join us after hearing all that, let's be off. Have luck. We share these roads with traveling peddlers, guardsmen... Focus. And the hunt is afoot. The leech on no. I'd feel better at ease with a few more men. Who knows what lies in wait? Let's proceed with caution. Would it come down if we baited it? We cannot reach it at that height. Seems all roads lead to Grand Zorin. Clear your mind of all but the fight. Yet rising monster fight. That was hardly a warm up. What's that? Perhaps a goblin might also serve as bait. Goblin! Make haste! Make haste! Sky is an apt spot to find ourselves surrounded. Still, we must be careful. Where visibility is poor, we must be especially area. wary of attacks. This looks nothing like where we were before. Seems a good place. If we lured another monster close, the griffin may think them prey. So this is where we're to meet the beast. Best prepare for battle. Let's put the bait out here. Would it come down if we baited it? Let's go! 
its armor and shield off. Vulcan's ill like fire. This Hold chance is gone. Cover is to the Blue Moon Tower. They grow frenzied. I've learned new techniques against that. I've learned of beasts. Our strength brought us victory. Damn bird! Fleeing to its roost the moment its fortunes turn. We cannot let this chance escape. Come, Arisen, to the Blue Moon Tower! Then I turn to the shadows. Grand Sorin stands beyond this way castle. All ready for battle? It seems all roads lead to Grand Sorin. Who knows what lies in wait? Best proceed with caution. A good start to any task is talking with others. Let's begin with that. 
We share these roads with traveling peddlers, guardsmen, and other folk. The mild weather year-round makes Grancis well-suited for human life. Humans certainly do make a lot of expressions. How fair! I believe in my father's in please. Guards <sighs> do have much to worry about. Now, where shall we head? 